All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. And to the sincere Akim out there preaching the word with all truth and sincerity. And to the sincere uh, Akwath who listen and subscribe. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Baragatha, Ba'ashem, Raka, HaKodash. This is the brother Kasha Kuala. I'm with the brother Zakaria. And we're from the Atlanta, uh, the Atlanta Church. And we're coming back at you with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be pertaining to um, Christmas. With this wicked pagan holiday. A very demonic day that two-third niggas and these heathens uh, proudly celebrate. Okay? And look down on you if you don't do it with them. Okay? So we got some like a quick background history on the origination or the true meaning of Christmas. Okay? And it, um, I found something while reading this article. It was pretty uh, interesting. It says, it says, sun worship, the reason for the season. It says, um, it says, it is the reason Sunday is a holy day in many religions. And we all know that we go off the, the Greco-Roman calendar, which is based off of sun, sun worship. Okay. And why major festivals are held at spring and at the solstice okay and what just passed recently on december the 21st the winter solstice which is like one of the shortest days of the entire year it says the real meaning of christmas is sun worship a reminder of a uh, a reminder to all life on earth that we owe everything to the sun okay mm. so now we're going to get a scripture to back up what we're saying all right and this is this is on point okay because it says the real meaning of christmas is sun worship everything we that's based around american culture is based around uh sun worship because america gets a lot of its things from ancient rome and ancient egypt that's why you go to wow. dc and you see an erected statue of um the the washington monument and then you go in dc again and look at all the buildings that's in there they're of a roman or greek type looking building architecture okay nothing is new under the sun <laughs> okay the real meaning of christmas is sun worship a reminder to all life on earth that we owe everything to the sun which is false man we owe everything to yahweh that's why we give our bodies every day as a living sacrifice okay this is jeremiah chapter 10 i'll let you read it uh verse one hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Exactly. It says, learn not the way of the heathen. So you shouldn't be involved in this uh, sun worship pagan holiday. So go ahead. Come. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That is a, the, one of the strongest points that we wanted to bring out from this particular, um, this particular um, website. It says, the real meaning of Christmas is sun worship, a reminder to all life on earth that we owe everything to the sun. And that, my friend, is learning the way of the heathen and being dismayed at the signs of the heavens. Huh. Okay? Because what does it say? We'll go back. What does it say in Genesis? Okay? Um, let's see. Genesis 1 and 14, the Most High said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and, and years. He was speaking about the sun and the moon, okay? Because when you keep reading, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so, and the Most High made two great lights, uh, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, Okay. What is the greater light to rule the day? The sun. What is the lesser light to rule the night? The moon, okay? Because the day in itself is a light, and the night in itself is a dimmer light. And then you have the moon that rules as a, 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 a light in that dimmer light, if you know what I'm saying. Huh. But it was given to us for 
signs for seasons and for days not to be worshipped if that was the case he would have put in to be worshipped but it doesn't have there in to be worshipped so we're not dismayed at the signs of the heavens like these other heathens are that's why we learn not the way of the heathen okay I'm going to give one more scripture now I'm going to let you continue bro um it's a lot not Proverbs 3 Proverbs 4 and 7, turn not to the right hand, nor to the left, remove thy foot from evil. So we're not supposed to be conducting ourselves in that certain type of manner of a heathen. And we're supposed to remove ourselves from their wicked ways. Uh -huh. So it doesn't rub off on us, you could say. Okay. Matter of fact, go ahead and bring what you got. Ock. Kind of as the um, brother was saying, we're not we're supposed to remove our foot from evil. Now, this is um first... Yo, St. John 2 and 15, love not... 1st John, 1st John. Oh, it's like 1st John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Basically, we shouldn't be um, conforming to the society and to the world of the way of the heathen, doing all their customs, religions, celebrations, you name it. That's right. You know, that's right. And we're going to go back to Jeremiah uh, 10 and 2. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs to it's like a, needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they can, cannot do evil. Neither also it is in them to do good. See, when you read that, that's a clear definition of the Christmas tree and we got some we got some uh, uh, things on the Christmas tree okay because as we know that um, Christmas is, a, is a, a sun a sun worship holiday okay huh. and when you go back to sun worship you go back to the sun god raw okay as you can see right here all right you see you know the Illuminati when you look on the dollar bill it has an eye right there that goes back to Egypt Especially when you look on the dollar bill, it has that pyramid with the eye that goes back to Egypt. The sun god Ra goes back to e to ancient Egypt. And um, to say something on that, that's why the scripture said this place is on um, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. That's right. In, in, uh, in the book of Revelation. Kind of. If I'm not the, the 11th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you want me to get that? Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, we can get that. Hold on. I got it right here. All right. Um, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay? And we all know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know all what happened in Egypt. There was an exodus, a mass exodus. And also that word Egypt, it means bondage. God. So Sodom and Egypt, it says what is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And that's speaking of America. Because it's going to get destroyed, okay, in the same manner as Sodom and Gomorrah. And we're going to have another exodus as we did in Egypt. And we're going to get out of the bondage, okay, where also our Lord was crucified. Because when they came over here on this uh, good ship, Jesus, literally what it was called when they brought the, the Benjamites, the Judites, and the Levites over to this land for, for captivity, okay, it says where also our Lord was crucified, they also did something called a kind of iconoclasm, kind of which um, which defaced Yahweh Shai. It was an ultimate identity theft, and that's a, a form of crucifixion. God. Okay, to 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 ruin somebody's image for say, you know what I'm saying? That's crucifying somebody. Okay, so then their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, and that's metaphoric. And also, you can take that literally, because when Jacob's trouble comes, a lot of two-third niggas' bodies are going to be dead in the street without burial. 
Come like on. I think that says that in, in the book. Lamented and the lamented. Lamented. I think it says uh, yeah. that in like Jeremiah, if I'm not mistaken. You, you on the same page, brother. Yeah. You know, that's just a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't have to get it, but you know. So, again, Christmas goes back to this dude right here, Ra, the sun god Ra of Egypt. Okay. He got the serpent right there. He got the, the serpent sun. right there. See, that, that's crazy, man. You look at Who's the serpent today? Who's this? Exactly, Esau. brother. Exactly. You all right? So we're going to get a little quick clip, real quick, of uh, the origins of uh, the Christmas tree. If it will play. Let's see some. It's new that the solstice meant that... For example, the ancient Egyptians worshipped a god called Ra, who had the head of a hawk and wore the sun as a blazing disc in his crown. As the winter solstice approached, which was around December the 21st or 22nd, the days were at their shortest. This was a sign to the Egyptians that Ra was ill. At the winter solstice, it was believed Ra began to recover from his illness because the days started becoming longer. Therefore, the Egyptians filled their homes with green palm rushes which symbolized for them the triumph of life over death. Early Romans marked the solstice. There you go. Okay. So this is the origin of a Christmas tree. Okay. So in Egypt, they actually took palm trees and put them in their houses. How did they get those palm trees? They hewed them, their heathens and they hewed them down with axes. Okay. And huh. they decked them with silver and gold in the name of Ra. And it says they are upright as the palm tree. It's the same thing they were doing in Egypt, Man. worshiping a god that wasn't Yahweh, and that's what, and that, and, and the, these were the customs that Israel were taking on. That's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. And that goes back to um, the spiritual um, lust, fornication. Mm -hmm. You know, different gods, yep. different religions, and that's why you know Israel got put into captivity. That's yeah. right. That's why Israel got put into captivity, because they were going slap off. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's, let's go back to that first John, because that scripture will always be heavy, Come you know, because a lot of Jake are celebrating this holiday. And if any Jake stumble on, upon this video, you know, both of us brothers want to say you need to get the hell up out of that, that, that mind frame. And get uh -huh. the hell up out of the world and turn back to your power before he smites your ass, man. All right. I'm going to let you read it out. Uh -huh. This is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. See? And niggas love Christmas. Niggas love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving right. is a representation. Not a representation. It's the actual fact that you're celebrating the mass genocide of your own people. Exactly. Because even if you're from the tribe of Judah, even if you're from the tribe of Levi, the tribe of uh, Benjamin, the tribe of Manasseh, the Gadites and the Reubenites are still your brothers. That's still your family. So you're still celebrating the mass genocide of your own people. Huh. Okay? With Christmas, you're celebrating another God. We just proved it right there. Where they, where they get the Christmas tree from, and in, 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 uh, how they did it and how they did it. And with this article that Christmas is sun worship, it says it right there. The real meaning of Christmas is sun worship. You're not worshiping uh, Shem Yahweh Shah. You're, you're worshiping this deity, this entity right here. OK, so mm. we're going to go back to first John. And I'll let you finish that out. Con, if any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Because ultimately they hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you, you know the two thirds are the same people who said crucify him, crucify him, crucify him when he had no blame, when he did nothing wrong. Y'all, it's the same people back on earth today. That's why we, that when you read Exodus the 20th chapter, matter of fact, we can get that Come. and we'll go back to this and we'll close out. <clears throat> Yeah, man, Jake's still fucking off in the world. That's right. Jake's still messing, uh, fucking off in the world. And they're going, they're not keeping the first 
commandment. And this is why there's going to be grievous deaths in the street because you, Jake, deserve it. That's right. That's right, huh? This is Exodus 20 and 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord that power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Okay, and he's going to do that again this come around. Except he's going to uh, not take out all of Israel, but the elect and one third of Israel. He's not bringing them niggas into the kingdom. Y'all got to perish. Okay, verse 3. Thou shalt not, thou shalt have no other gods before me. But what is this? Christmas, you're having another god before you. How about Shimmy? How shy? Okay. The sun god, so called sun god. <laughs> and you're not worshiping the one who made the sun. Exactly. That what sense does that make? Okay. Going, uh, going to verse four. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, or have, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water. Under the earth, okay, which which Jake did right here, okay. They made another deity, whatever. Just like when they went into the wilderness and they made that golden calf, they went off in the first commandment, verse five. This is going on to the point of how you two third niggas who who were saying crucify him, crucify him, are back today, okay. And you're gonna get punished, okay. Verse five: Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Nor sir, <laughs> thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. When when your little kids wake up in the morning and go down to that Christmas tree, the first thing they do is get on the, get on their knees and go under the Christmas tree to get their presents. They're bowing down to a damn tree, so ultimately they're bowing down to another power. Well, uh, uh, not even a power, just another a, a fake ass, fake ass, yeah, exactly. Idol. <laughs> there you go. And, and it's okay. So like, let me mm -hmm. bring this out right quick. Yeah, go ahead. This is um. Jeremiah 11 and 14 said, Therefore, pray not that for these people, neither lift up a cry or pray for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. That's beautiful. And, and like we said earlier, you know, there's going to be great, uh, grievous deaths in the streets during that time. And if you heard the name, he's still not going to hear you. That's right. Because what are you guys are doing? Y'all still fucking around in this world. Mm -hmm. Y'all not coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You guys are not coming to the highways and byways. And you guys don't. You guys are not worshiping the name. You guys are worshiping a sun, religion, a, a, a sun god. That's right. But yeah, so you keep. Yeah, it's a beautiful continue. scripture, man. That goes hand to hand with what we're going to right now, because we're not going to pray for you. We're not going to lament uh, over your deaths. We're going to be laughing at you. God. We're going to be mocking you. Like it says in Proverbs, the first chapter, that's what we're going to be doing because we, we had the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and trying to disperse it unto y'all, but y'all don't want to hearken. Okay. So you, you get, you're going to get what you deserve and we're going to laugh hysterically at it. Okay. This is Exodus chapter 20 and five. Again, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them for I, the Lord, thy power am a jealous power. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Okay, because ultimately you hate Yahweh Hashem Yahweh when you bow down and you worship these other gods, and you are all back today. Because it says the third and fourth generations. Okay, you are all back today. Everybody who was um, celebrating the sun god, everybody who's doing it now, all you, uh, all your spirits. Uh, that are here today, we're doing it back then, and nothing's new under the sun. You're back. The ones who said uh, crucify and crucify him, you're back, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get a judgment, okay? Because you hate the Most High. That's he why says it says he will, um, what he, it says in Revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, even those that, that pierce him, that's right. They're still back. That's right. In Revelation, the first chapter. Uh -huh. Okay. So you know, we just wanted to get you know like a quick, quick meaning on what. The Christmas tree and what Christmas means, man. Okay? <clears throat> we didn't even get to bring out Isaiah, but it's all good, you know? Um, but that's, you know, just a quick synopsis of where uh, the origination of Christmas and the Christmas tree come from. And you really know what you're celebrating. You're not celebrating Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're not praising him. You're praising this little goddamn hawk looking beast. Mother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're really doing. And, and, and it's paganism, okay? 
It's a, it's a, it's a, it's of a heathen custom like we read in Jeremiah 10, man. So if any, you know, hope, you know, hopefully this was an edifying to the elect ultimately. And, and if any, any, um, uh, you know, person who doesn't know they're Israelite, you know, come across this video, you need to, you need to stop what you're doing, man. And you need to get out the world and you need to stop doing the things of the world. And that includes this wicked ass holiday, man, because you don't know what you're worshiping. And no, it is not. Who you call Jesus' birthday. Because when you clearly read the book of Luke, the second chapter, he was born during the springtime, during the Passover. Uh -huh. Okay? That simple. So you're just celebrating nothing, man. You're celebrating a demon. Okay? So, you know, with that being said, so you got anything to add on, brother? Oh, that was all. Right. Come on, come on. Come so, on. you know, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well. Peace, love to the elect. Um, and like, you know, like we always say on the highways and byways and all of our videos, man, all hell's about to break loose. Uh -huh. the, the, the chip is here, you know. Um, and if you're still in this shit, for lack of better words, you're going to get judged for it. And that judgment is death, okay? So you need to turn from your way. And get up out of this thing, man. That's right. So we just want to say shalom. Shalom.